Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our South Side Story, our 2023 World Cruise, where for you, all the world is a stage. You'll be immersed uh, in great cultural events, both on board and ashore throughout the voyage. But most important, we'll have a great door-to-door -door service. Starting in grand style and comfort, you'll have a private limo and a driver waiting for you at your front door, whisk you to your business class flight, where an entire area of the plane has been exclusively reserved for our guests. We will take care of all the details. You can relax until you get to Sydney. And for our Australian friends, the same procedures will happen when you return home. And very important, ladies and gentlemen, the Silver Shadow has been there for the past 24 hours, which means the moment you have landed in Sydney, you'll be going straight to your streets. You'll have your familiar crew waiting for you and welcome aboard. We are going to spend the next 10 days in Tasmania, a first time ever for a world cruise, and beautiful New Zealand, where we'll have a great event for our world cruise guests. Hobart, the capital of Tasmania, is a charming small town, lovely people, lovely little pubs, restaurants, small shops. And I remember going riding in Seven Mile Beach and I had a feeling of freedom, riding in his horse and there was no one. You go on for miles and you can see no one there. Then we've got Milford Sound. It's impressive, it's beautiful. Uh, the grandeur, the, the, the nature, the scenery are spectacular. It is one of the wonders of the world and probably a place where we'll be taking the best shots of the entire world cruise. Now, we're coming to New Zealand, and New Zealand is a charming country. It is so beautiful. The people are so nice, they're so kind. They go out of their way to help you. When I get to Dunedin and you hear the Scottish bagpipes, it gives you goosebumps. So they welcome you when you come in with the, with the Scottish bagpipes and when the ship sails away, they'll be there again to bid you farewell. Then we've got places like Akaroa, a traditional Maori town, the Maori culture, the, the wooden sculptures, their dances, and of course the famous haka. The haka everybody knows. Even if you don't play rugby, or if you're not a rugby fan, you know the haka. And we'll try to get a group on board. In Picton, we will have a wine tasting event. You know, New Zealand has come up with some great wines, especially white wines. So for our World Cruise guests, we'll take you to one of the best wineries in the country. Cheers. And from Auckland and the Bay of Islands, we'll be sailing to magical Melanesia, where we'll stop at the very remote uh, Vanuatu Islands. And we'll have the opportunity of watching a spectacular performance at Champagne Beach. Uh, we'll have a sing-song with the water dancers and, of course, cocktails served on the beach. And now we're sailing to Papua New Guinea. I was spectacular landscape will be used as a backdrop for some great experiences. We'll have the ritual fire dance, and later on in the Philippines, we'll have a private beach event. Now, uh, while we are uh, in Papua New Guinea, basically, you will find uh, so many different tribes. I'm thinking of the holy man and the mud man. And on top of it, you've got I think around 850 dialects. Now, I speak a few languages, but not that many. We will have the first time ever an overland tour that covers Papua New Guinea. And uh, this is, you know, an, a place full of uh, wonderful carvings, art, culture, costumes, tradition. 
In Rabaul, for the first time ever on a world cruise, we will have a spectacular event with the binding fire dances. Imagine you're in the middle of the night and you were surrounded by these warriors and there's this roaring fire with sparkles going and you're in the middle of it. So this will be a special and first time ever event on the World Cruise. Now, we are in the Philippines. And when you think of the Philippines, you think of a crowded country, yet we're going to some wonderful islands. And we will have in Kalamanang a great private island event, Silver Sea style. We uh, will leave Manila and we'll be sailing to the port of Hong Kong, the lively port of Hong Kong. And uh, this is a place, it's one of those iconic ports like New York or Venice or Istanbul or Rio de Janeiro. Uh, it's got uh, food markets at night, it's got wonderful shops, great restaurants, tea time tradition at the Peninsula Hotel. I remember years ago, uh, going to the Peninsula Hotel to a tailor. And in this tailor, I used to have some very nice shirts made uh, by hand. Well, I went next year and without even asking the price, when I was given the bill, the bill was double. And the man said, oh, you big fat, big fat. So he charged me double. But this is Hong Kong. From Vietnam to Thailand and Singapore, this part of the world has lots of surprises. From the mysterious caves, in the Bay of the Descending Dragons to the magical city of Hue to the hustle bustle of Bangkok and Singapore. Now we'll be coming to one of the most beautiful parts of Vietnam. This is an area of turquoise colored waters, beautiful colored fishing boats, these massive granite rocks. You could be in a James Bond film. This is a long bay. And now we'll have something very magical for you. This will be the stage where we'll have a very special World Cruise event while in Vietnam. These are the mysterious caves of the Bay of Descending Dragons. We will have traditional and delicious Vietnamese food and also great Vietnamese entertainment. Bon appétit. We will bring you to Hue, and uh, you will see French colonial architecture all over Vietnam, basically. But here we are in Hue, the imperial capital of the country. You're looking here at the tomb of Emperor Kaidin. We have palaces, temples, tombs, nobles' houses. The history of the old Vietnam is concentrated in this city. We'll be visiting one of the most exciting capitals in the world, Bangkok, a city where East meets West. The royal palace is together with the food floating market or the flower market. This is a city with energy, with interest, with beauty. From a small, tiny little restaurant to a grand restaurant, you will find always the best Thai cuisine. This is Bangkok. Welcome. As we leave Georgetown and Phuket, we'll come upon spectacular Myanmar, a place we have not been with the world cruise in a long, long time. Yangon, the capital, is something outstanding. And from there, from Yangon, you can take the greatest tours you can possibly imagine. I remember in many, many years, and this has always stayed in my mind, flying to 
Bagan. And in Bagan, I remember taking a balloon ride, and in this balloon ride, you see all the colors of the rich tropical jungle. And then I was given the opportunity of visiting one of the temples. I climb up all the way up to the dome. The dome you go around, it's just nothing but gold. And you look on a 360 degree angle and you see these dark green of nature growing. And you have maybe 80, 90 temples all the way around you covered in gold. This is something that will stay in your mind forever. Now, I'm really excited at getting back to the beaches, the wildlife in the ancient temples of Sri Lanka, before we take a, a breather in the Paradise Islands of the Maldives and the Seychelles. Trincomalee, Sri Lanka. This is a place in the world where you'll find something quite unique, the pole fisherman. But you'll also find a combination of marvelous, great architecture in the Buddhist temples and also in the Hindu temples. And the smell of spices, which are really native to the island. And you'll find plenty of tea plantations. As a matter of fact, one of the owners of some of the largest tea plantations happens to be Paul Fernando, and I hope I'll see him on board. The Maldives and the Seychelles are two groups of Paradise Islands. They're beautiful, but so different. You will have hundreds of atolls that constitute the Maldives with lush palm trees and white sand everywhere. And then we move to the Seychelles. You will find again beautiful beaches, palm trees, but also with a difference. The strange and unique rock formations alongside the coast of all the islands. And also you'll find a certain French flavor in the lifestyle. We move from my head to explore the heritage and cultures of Africa. And we're starting with Zanzibar. What a spectacular island. From its historical background to architecture, to the crystal clear waters, you've got everything in this place. With so much different influences, you've got Omani, you've got Portuguese, uh, the dialect is the Swahili, and Zanzibar was basically where these di dialects started. Uh, there's an influence of Oman. Imagine or picture uh, boats um, anchored in the bay with the traditional sails. These are the dhows, and they come all the way from Oman. And when you go into the old town, the stone town, you see the traditional Omani houses, and of course, you'll have the Sultan's Palace, the most important building. Now, talking about Zanzibar, I always think of the beautiful doors. And these are, many are for sale. They've got wonderful workshops there. I managed to buy one like five or six years ago. It took me a full year to get the door back to Portugal. I had time to build two houses, enough to get that door there. Most important, we have a very special World Cruise event, a tribute to Freddie Mercury while we are in the Stone Town. Next, we'll discover the many different sides of Africa, from uh, Madagascar to Mauritius, and from Reunion to South Africa. Now, Madagascar, uh, we have to imagine a very large island with a biodiversity which is unique in the world. 5% of all the known plants and animals in the world are in Madagascar. Uh, places like Tomazina, places like Nozibi, you will find 
the traditional little lemurs, these little monkeys that everybody is familiar with, but so cute. And of course, you can see thousands and thousands of baobabs, these spectacular trees all over the island. The island is rich in history and culture, and of course, most important for its nature. In Mauritius, we'll stop in Port Louis. And what you'll find quite important in this island is this strong Indian influence. And you'll find about 50% of the population is Indian background, and then the rest is African. And the result is great food, great costumes, and great traditions. Now, in Réunion, Réunion, you'll find, uh, how shall I say, it's uh, a place with a strong French influence. And you'll have, again, the French influence in the food and in traditions together with Africa. And we'll be stopping in Pont de Galle. We now come to the wealthiest African country. We come to South Africa. And South Africa, uh, we're coming to Richards Bay and to Durban. This is KwaZulu Natal area. This is where the majority of the Zulu population is concentrated. That is a place where many safaris will start. Many of our guests will take these safaris. Even just one day, you'll have the opportunity to see the big five right a few miles from the town. And then Durban is more cosmopolitan. You've got uh, the traditional Zulu costumes and you find also uh, a great influence of India in the food. So if you want to have a good curry, this is the place to be. You go to the Indian club in Durban. We will explore the south and west coast of Africa as a new look at the oldest continent. This is the place where the Indian Ocean meets the Atlantic. You come in to Cape Town, a magnificent view, a gorgeous city, and the Table Mountain as a background. And now we have something special for you. As all the world is a stage, we have arranged for a very special event during our visit to Cape Town. We have arranged for a deluxe picnic with very comfortable chairs, with blankets, wonderful food. We will take you to a garden which is right by the rugby stadium uh, in the city. Cape Town will be the backdrop. We'll be showing the film Invictus, and some of you may be familiar with it. Uh, it shows the effort made by President Nelson Mandela trying to reunite the nation uh, via sport. We are in Namibia and the dunes are a beauty. You have, they change shapes every two hours with the wind. But then you've got the current of Bengala, which you see here. It's cold water that brings millions of sardines. There are orcas, there are whales, there are sharks, there are dolphins by the, by the thousands. And this is something which is unforgettable. We will have a optional tour, which I strongly recommend, flying over the Skeleton Coast. There'll be a spectacular experience and probably a dinner in the dunes. Now we go on to Angola. We go on to Luanda. Luanda, the capital of the new nation of Angola since 1975. You've got the old traditional, the Portuguese architecture, the Portuguese colors. But again, there's always this African gaiety, the African rhythm, the African uh, energy. Then you proceed to the French West Africa. We will have, of course, Côte d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast. We have Senegal. We will also have Ghana. So we have world of fortresses alongside the coast all the way to Dakar. I think the most important thing which you will like will be the strong colors, the way they dress, the different tribes, the different skin signals, and the energy of the countries.
and we have arrived in Cape Verde in anticipation to our arrival in the Amazon. This is a group of nine small islands, very different. People call them the Galapagos of the Atlantic. Um, the sea life, the, 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 the geological part of the islands is amazing. We all stop in Praia and in Mindelo. They were Portuguese for about 500 years. Um, on my first trip, I was seven or 16 years old. I arrived here in, uh, in Praia in 1968. It was my first time with a tuxedo. And you'll find that the music and, and the culture and the architecture is still very much Portuguese, but there is a rhythm, there is Brazilian, there is Africa. So you find the nostalgia of the Portuguese father, but at the same time, there is this happiness of Africa. In our transatlantic crossing, we'll have a few days at sea. And of course, I know how much you love those days. From doing nothing to participate in all the activities, the great new shows, the enrichment lectures, but most important, we want you to be together with our crew, with your friends, to have your favorite bartender, your favorite maitre d', uh, you've got your traditional waiters that you've known for years, and of course, always the great service, the food and the wines with Silver Sea. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Amazon. Outstanding, fantastic, a first time ever during a world cruise to visit this part of the world. I've been coming here for over 40 years. I remember flying in 2019 and I could see the water coming from the Amazon all the way into the Atlantic. You can see the two colors. At the mouth of the river, it's about 100 kilometers wide. It's it's amazing, it's an ocean. And then when the ship starts going up, you start going through canals, and it feels like the jungle is coming up to the open decks. Uh, you can take a canoe and go looking for crocodiles or alligators during the night. You can go see the pink dolphins, you can go fishing piranhas, but it's just this immensity of green all around you. It's amazing. And the small towns we touch, Towns like Caxias, Panintin, Santarém, Manaus, they are full of uh, lovely handicrafts. They've got uh, the native populations. You've got the Indians of the Amazon. And we go all the way up, and then finally we get to Manaus. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the jewel of Manaus, Teatro da Opera. It tried to be a copy of San Carlo in Naples, or the Teatro de San Carlos in Portugal. It's a bit of a rogue rococo, showing how wealth the town was. We have an exclusive event for our guests. We're taking you for a wonderful musical performance at the opera, and we'll be serving champagne and canapés, followed, of course, by this spectacular performance. And the best seats in the house are reserved for our guests. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to a part of the world known for its sandy beaches, the palm trees. But with Silver Sea, we always go to the off-beaten track places. We're going to places like the French Guiana, and we're going to St. Bart's or saint Barthélemy. Uh, we will have two great events on this particular section of the World Cruise. And uh, we will go and spend a full day at Meiro, a private island where we'll have a great uh, barbecue by the beach, all catered by Silver Sea. We'll have our waiters, our bartenders, and our chefs preparing it for you. This will be in Meiro. And the second event that we have prepared for you on this segment of the World Cruise will be a spectacular Antiguan cocktail party and a great dinner arranged at the governor's residence uh, in Antigua. This will be a great event. We get the residence just for us and then fireworks at the end. So this will be our Caribbean.
And uh, ladies and gentlemen, of course, we'll bring you back to your front door with your private Lim One driver, the same standard of Silver Sea. Uh, but this is not the end. This was, of course, just a taste. Uh, we'll have so many more things coming on the world cruise. You will see your friends again, friends that you've met on many, many cruises before. You will make new friends. You will have new memories. And I'll be very, very happy to welcome you on board the 2023 World Cruise. All the world is a stage. Thank you.